What's up? Good morning. It's Friday. It's time to get into this beard product review, put in some work. So music is a universal language. Uh, music can invoke emotions. It can take you back to a time, a place, a memory. Like music was a huge part of my life. I remember sitting by the radio as a kid, waiting for my favorite song to come on so I could hit record, so I could add it to the super cool mixtape and play it for all my friends. Uh, music helped me through troubled times, uh, times when I was, you know, not feeling my best, you know, as you know, teenage angst. Yeah, you, you got to have something to fall back on. And music was that for me. So when a music theme company came along, I knew I had to try them out. And that we're going to be talking about Alley Cat Beard Co. So after the intro, we're going to get into the review. What I thought about the product line, I have it all, all the scents, the wash, the conditioner, the gummies. I even have a merch piece of merch. So let's get into it. It's time to clock in. Let's go to work. So as I said, we are talking about Alley Cat Beard Co. A little bit about the company. The company is owned by Gary Lewis. Uh, they're based out of Maryland. Uh, Gary is a veteran, so this is a veteran-owned and operated company. Gary is not new to beard products. He has been making beard products for a while. So this is this is the new stuff. Let's let's get into the Carrier Blend. Uh, squalene oil, soursop oil, yangu oil, shea nut oil, percaxi oil, pequi oil, subaki oil, black seed oil, and a proprietary fragrance blend. So this is a hooligan. This is a dark cherry tobacco or double tobacco. Uh, I love that he has, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but he has a QR code here on the bottle. So when you're getting down to next to nothing and you want to reorder, you can hit that QR code. It's going to take you to the website to this specific product. Uh, in bottle, Hooligan, you're definitely getting that cherry and that double tobacco. The oud just kind of balances out that cherry to keep it from going overboard. I really, really enjoyed this scent. Hooligan was probably my favorite of what I have out of the eight scents. Yeah, the, the butter, the butter, oh man, the butter consistent and i can say that about all these they've been consistent between oil and butter not one is stronger than the other the butter is super creamy emulsifies super quick feels great in beard just yeah your beard's gonna thank you so the ingredients on the butter shea butter muru muru butter takuma butter black seed oil metal foam seed oil amla oil and proprietary fragrance blend i love that he adds this little kicker here at the bottom Apply desired amount to hand, rub together, and apply into beard. Always start with a small amount to ensure no greasy feeling in beard. Comb through once applied. So, you know, if you're new or, you know, you're an experienced beardsman, always when you're trying out something new, you want to start with a little less than you normally would. Uh, you don't know how it's going to, you know, act in your beard. You know how your, your beard's going to react to those products, especially if you haven't used them before. So always start a little bit smaller. Use a little bit less than you normally would. And then go up from there if need be. Who wants to waste beard products? You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to apply this stuff four and five times a day. It's just going to be a waste. So, that's Hooligan. My favorite scent out of the eight that are available right now. Next up, we have Retro. Love these labels and bottles. I mean, black. It just gives it that punk rock attitude. Like, yeah. The restrictor top. Just, whoa. Warm vanilla, oud, and tonka beans. So retro, you definitely get that vanilla and tonka. So the tonka gives off almost like a nutmeg-ish, toasted nut, spicy type scent, and it's actually pretty good. Don't think spicy as a pepper. Think spicy, like I said, as, as in like a nutmeg type spice. Really, really good. It's a super calming scent. Uh, I wasn't, you know, wasn't my favorite, but if you know what I mean, like it would make a really great nighttime scent. Uh, next up, we have 1981. I'm really partial to this bias, whatever you want to call it. That's the year I was born. I know I'm old, man. I'm old, old. So 1981 is socially distorted cologne. So straight up, right off the bat. This is Polo Red uh, with cream sugar. Uh, 
the the cream sugar keeps it from going overboard, making it a room filling cologne scent. It's actually pretty pleasant. Uh, it's one of the few that Abby was like, "Oh, that don't smell like uh, cough syrup like most of your other oils do." So, or cologne oils. But so I was really happy with 1981. Um, again, Hooligan was my favorite. So um, next up we have Moon Stompers, which is stomped forest apples. That green pops on that black label. I mean, these labels are pretty sick. Like, yeah. So, in bottle, you're getting... You're getting apple. Think Granny Smith. Uh, sweet with a slight tartness. In beer, that tartness kind of fades, and it's still just like a true apple scent. It's not artificial. It smells more like a real... Like, say you just sliced up an apple to eat. That's the type of vibe scent you're going to get. Actually pretty cool for a fruit scent. Uh, I'm not big on fruit, but this actually worked, so I wasn't dissatisfied with it. Uh, next up, Van Winkle, which is an iced out peppermint vanilla. So, in bottle, you get a slight kick of peppermint, and then the vanilla comes in. Uh, it's not like that uh, over-the-top vanilla. It's more like a smooth vanilla, and it too was a very actual calming scent uh really enjoy it right now because of the winter time you go outside and that cold hits your face it's kind of like a wake me up in the morning so really enjoyed the van winkle i think it's going to be a sleeper scent out of his lineup uh next up we have fizz 182 which is a citrus peach fizz bomb citrus peach fizz bomb so if you've watched the channel, I'm not a huge peach fan. So when I got this, I was a little hesitant. And I already had it in my mind that I'm probably not going to like it. And thankfully, it's more citrus than peach. And it reminds me of cracking open a, a carbonated, I don't know, a citrus carbonated drink. Think uh, like squirt. If you know what that is, I don't even know if they even make it anymore, but that's what I get. I get that citrus vibe and then that carbonation, that fizz, like this is actually pretty cool. I'm really glad it didn't have as heavy as a peach scent as I was expecting. So kudos on that one. Next up, we have Scumbag Joe's, which is a Belgian barber shop. So for me, I get... A blast of leather uh, with some woodsy undertones. In beard, it becomes more of like a sophisticated manly cologne. It's The leather hangs out a little bit, but it becomes more... It's not... When you think barbershop, it's not like a talc type barbershop. It's more of the cologne style barbershop with leather and a wood note. And yeah, I did get that on my nose. Yay. Um, next up, uh, we have Ruckus, which is Strawberry, Oud, and Birch. There we go. Um, when you smell this, the Birch and the Strawberry kind of mix, and it gives you more of a Strawberry Jam type vibe. It doesn't smell like artificial strawberry. It smells like you just squished a strawberry in your hand, and it's there. Like, it's actually really good it's my second favorite scent the oud gives it the earthiness to keep it from going to the sweet side um all of these scents you're gonna get at least six to eight sometimes 10 plus hours out of the scent uh i know ruckus i'd put it in at nine ten o'clock at night go to lay down smell it at five six seven a.m in the morning before i rinse it out wash it out whatever the case may be that day uh all in all, the beard products, the the oil, the butter, super smooth, make your 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 skin just feels nourished and conditioned. And then the the added bonus is what it does for styling. And once you get to where you need to be with the amount wise, and you, you you're doing your beard, you're gonna you're gonna see the difference. Uh, Gary wanted to bring products to the table that. Made your beard feel good, made your skin feel good, styled well, and in my opinion, he accomplished what he set out to do. It's nothing over the top. It's nothing crazy. It just it's stuff that works, and 
it works. Uh, next up, I have the beard wash and beard conditioner. These used to be another scent. Uh, now they are called the Drift. As you can see on the back here, you got Dan C. Bearded's logo. What's up, Dan C.? Um, I love the logos or the labels on these uh, containers. They're not actual labels. They are raised off of the actual container, like think Braille. Um, the ingredients are here on the back, so if you want to check those out, check out the website. The wash, I use daily. Uh, the beer conditioner, I use about once a week. I'm not real big on conditioners. This is a thick coating conditioner, so your beard is going to, you're going to feel the condition when you actually use it. Like I said, the beard wash I have been using daily. Um, it's not going to wash out your heavy full body butters or balms. Uh, for me, I had to wash twice. Um, some, some washes just can't do it. Others, you, you know, I usually strip once a week, strip the beard with a stripping wash. But for a daily wash, the Drift from Alley Cat Beard Co., it's, it's pretty damn good. Um, next up, we have the gummy vitamins, the beard vitamins. Check these out on the website. Uh, you're going to get your biotin. The serving size is two. That's a one-month supply in those bottles. Uh, the oil and butter is going to run you – the oil is going to run you $20.98. The butter is going to run you $22.98. There are a few discount codes out there. Uh, I believe Dan C10 will save you 10% on the products. So use that code. Pick up some of this Alley Cat Beard Co. The just the just the theme, the music, it just like hits a note with me. It hits home. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the products. Comes with a super cool holographic sticker. There's Ruckus again. Love the lettering, the logo, the theme, um, the swag. He's got super cool shirts, hoodies, flags. I believe he has hats now. Check it out. Go check out Alley Cat Beard Co. I'll drop everything in the description below. As I said, use Dancy10, save 10% on the website. That's going to wrap it up for me. My opinion is check out Alley Cat Beard Co. Don't listen to, you know, Everybody else, make make your own decision. Try it out. Let's see what happens. So if you've tried Alley Cat Beer Code, drop a comment below. Let people know how you felt about it, the scent you tried. Learn something new today. Let it grow. I'll see you later.